Alrighty, and we're back. So, second take, uh, first take, video decide, computer decided to sleep on me. Today we're unboxing another arcade block. Now, I think the last video I got to was my last arcade block, so I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, real quick, been very, very busy holiday weekend. Uh, it was my birthday recently, uh, so I've been busy with that. i uh, been trying to do a lot of cycling videos uh, because I've been into that hobby and the weather's been good, but then my bike broke. So I'm not, I've been trying to fix that. Uh, I built a brand new computer down here. Been working on that, and that uh, computer is actually quad boot. So it boots uh, Mac OS X, Windows 10, Steam OS, and Linux uh, GNOME. And we'll be getting into that a little bit later. But today, nerd block. Uh, so I already ripped it open, but then you know, video stopped. So we're on a second take. Open the box here. They've got their uh, usual share the arcade block now these subscription boxes are awesome they're inexpensive between like 10 and 30 bucks depending on what you want to get regardless of, of what you're into uh, there's a subscription box out there for everybody uh, and this one I think is probably some of the best values there's other ones like loot crate out there and it is hilarious some of the stuff that they put into those boxes nowadays it's like just the cheapest dollar garbage crap that they can find but arcade block has been pretty darn good to me so far so uh, first item in here is a uh, Stick of Truth figure. Uh, and if you haven't played the Stick of Truth game uh, and you're a South Park fan, you really do need to. If you don't watch South Park, you need to watch South Park. Uh, this is uh, Cartman, uh, and he is fat and hilarious. Uh, and he's kind of a wizard character in this game. Uh, and this toy is from Kid Robot. Uh, and then on the back, uh, you can collect uh, all the other characters. So we'll open this up. And unbox this. Um, so they give you between five to seven collectible items in here. Uh, and this month was pretty good. I've been pretty content with it. I know I did open it before, but then we did the second take. But I have been impressed with it. Uh, so this is uh, the figure. Uh, pretty big. Uh, it's kind of a comfortable size. It's obviously not massive. Uh, but nice and collectible size. Uh, the little stubby arms move, uh, and his head does uh, rotate. Uh, and then I think you can pop that off because the cape has a little bit of movement uh, as well. Uh, and then it says uh, it's from Comedy Partners, uh, and then engraved on the bottom is uh, Kid Robot. So uh, also in the packaging it comes with uh, his little staff that he holds uh, as a wizard. So that is the uh, Eric Cartman figure. Pretty heavy. Uh, made out of pretty uh, decent, high quality, solid plastic. You can tell it's definitely not hollow or anything like that. So I didn't really get this feeling that uh, it was a cheap item. Uh, next in here, we've kind of got one of these uh, military colored kind of flat hats that people at Chipotle wear and hipsters. Uh, and then on it, it has uh, just this little emblem here, uh, which is Foxhound Special Forces. I didn't really get that reference. I think it's from Metal Gear Solid or something like that. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then it's got Velcro in the back. Doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Uh, along with that, uh, they do always send uh, a t-shirt in these uh, subscription boxes. Uh, and this, uh, if you look closely... Uh, is a whole bunch of characters from the Final Fantasy series. Um, so you've got uh, some of the characters different. Uh, you can fight the fire guy. Uh, there's a chocobo in there. A whole bunch of different guys. Uh, and that's this is kind of a uh, one versus one fighting scenario. There's obviously not a game out there uh, that does that yet. Um, but you probably do that. And it's from uh, Gildan is the people that make the shirt. It's a soft style. Uh, you do input your uh, size when you order one of these, and they send you a T-shirt every single month. Um, so if you go to ShirtPunch, uh, ShirtPunch.com, they give you a coupon on here. Uh, if you're interested in more of these shirts, uh, it does kind of uh, have the uh, exclusive item from Arcade Block. And then on the back here, it's got, you know, what kind of stat perks it gives you by wearing this shirt. Um you know, it talks about the rarity of the shirt, and it gives you plus 14 strength and plus 5 speed and all that good stuff. Um, so there's that. Get the hat. Uh, in here, just kind of a 
random cardboard box. Wrapped up. Uh, oh, that's kind of nice. This is a uh, little glass jar. Uh, and it's got the um, sort of the depleting health uh, icon on it from uh, those old school arcade games. Uh, Zelda. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You can put um, your unmentionables uh, in here. Your illicit drugs. Uh, salt, pepper, you know, you can use it in your kitchen or something like that. Uh, and they did that last month. Uh, out of frame here over this direction is kind of like my Bitcoin uh, area. You might be able to hear that little hum in the background. And uh, over there I've got some uh, Pac-Man salt and pepper shakers. Uh, some nice ones that they gave us me last month. So I like that they keep with the uh, usable kitchen items theme. Uh, and this is pretty much straight glass. Uh, another item made in the USA. So that's pretty good. I like a couple of those uh, homegrown items. They always package them well. I've, I've never gotten any items in, in smashed condition just yet. Uh, and then next we'll do this. Uh, this is a uh, little kick punch uh, fridge magnet. Also made in the USA. So that's good. A uh, little fridge magnet, uh, kind of on the chintzier side. Uh, it is got that 3D little elevated look. Uh, I'm not familiar with the game, but it's got that triangle and circle icon like it's some you know older PlayStation sort of game. Uh, but I like fridge magnets, so I don't, I don't really feel cheaped out by that. And last but not least, uh, there is uh, this, and it's kind of a window cling. It says Blue Shell on board, so if you're a Mario Kart player, you will get the reference. Um, yeah, Blue Shells are horrible, and I remember in the old games, I think for Nintendo 64 and some of the first Mario Kart games, um, or even I think Super Nintendo had it, um, if somebody shot a blue shell at you and you were in first place and there was somebody pretty close behind you, you could just back up. And whoever was in first place, regardless if it was you or, or there was a position change, uh, it would always get the first person guy. So you'd you know, quickly slam on the brakes and hopefully somebody else would pass you uh, in the time uh, that that blue shell was shot. But I think recently in Mario Kart 7 or 8 or 6 maybe, uh, they've been getting smart. So whoever's in first place when the sh blue shell is shot, that's it, you're done. Uh, so hopefully you've got a big enough gap between you and your opponents or you try to back up and wipe some of them out uh, at the same time. So, yeah, this will probably go on the window somewhere. Uh, maybe it'll go in my car. I don't know yet. Uh, but it's got a little uh, suction cup up there on top uh, to uh, suction cup it to something. So, And then it's got uh, down here that little hilarious, by my finger up over here, the little sad onion no, not for people three and under. And there's a little picture of a sad onion, uh, which is always funny. So that's that's that. Uh, this item is made in China, though. So can't win them all, United States. Uh, and then that's it. There's the little card uh, in here that says uh, what items you got. That uh, this kind of like have the NES cartridge uh, sort of look, and it says uh, South Park stick of. Truth figure uh, is the arcade block product of the month, and that uh, from the hilarious role-playing based game uh, on the equally hilarious uh, animated series, this figure brings the enjoyment from the digital realm into the physical one. Wherever you go and whatever misadventures you get up into, uh, having this character in your party is an absolute must. Then on the back is kind of the spoiler card, uh, so if you... Uh, you know, want to know what's in what's in the box before opening everything. It mentioned the uh, Final Fantasy T-shirt, the apothecary jar, the Special Forces military cap, the kick punch wood magnet, and the blue shell on board sign. Uh, and then it kind of mentions uh, a little bit of details of each. So uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, I'll definitely be doing these every month. Uh, they're inexpensive, and I worked out a little deal with uh, Nerd Block, who makes the arcade block. Uh, so that I can get them at a pretty decent price. And I love the box. box is great for keeping around. It's got that old, uh, you know, Nintendo console look to it. Uh, which surprisingly, I don't have one of these consoles. I probably need to change that. Uh, so that's it. Uh, good items this month. Better than last month. Maybe not. Maybe a couple quality, more quality items. Uh, like the hat and other things like that. I think they did have a fridge magnet uh, last month. Uh, another, you know, ceramic glass type of uh, thing. So... No complaints there. Um, 
but uh, I'll, I'll be doing another one of these soon. Hopefully, I'll be back into making uh, some YouTube videos. we got some interesting stuff going on. I'll be talking about Bitcoin, the new machine that's behind me. I'll start uploading a lot of those cycling videos. And uh, I'm also going skydiving uh, in a couple of months. And I'm going to, of course, bring the cameras along with me there. So make sure you stay tuned uh, and subscribed. And if you make it to the end of this video, comment. I've made it to the end of this video because uh, I want to see how many of you actually stick around for the whole thing. So I appreciate that, guys. Uh, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.